Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Elizabeth Wazuti, an environmentalist, a young climate justice advocate, the founder of the Green Generation Initiative, and the youngest presidential appointee as a commissioner representing civil society and young people on the Nairobi Rivers Commission in Kenya. It's an honor to address this 12th World Environmental Education Congress right here in Abu Dhabi. This year's theme, Connecting People, Creating Tomorrow, is a powerful reminder of how crucial our collective action today is in shaping a sustainable future. For people to connect and create solutions for our planet's challenges, education and knowledge stand as powerful tools that can guide us towards innovation, creative solutions, and sustainable pathways. Today, as we meet here, we know that we stand at the crossroads of an interconnected triple planetary emergency, a climate crisis, a nature crisis, and a pollution crisis. How can this be? How is it possible that even while we are presented with more and more information about the causes and solutions to these problems, we're still failing to take the urgent action that is needed to address them? These are not distant problems. They are here, they are now, and they demand our immediate and decisive action. We have only one earth, and we're destroying it, and in doing so, destroying ourselves. I think if our actions lack sincerity, we fail not only those currently affected by the crisis, but also the generations to come. And the imperative lies in embracing and supporting the scale-up of genuine solutions and amplifying their impact through education. For instance, in Kenya, I have witnessed firsthand the power of collective action that young people and children have when they connect. Together with other young people in my organization, the Green Generation Initiative, we are sowing seeds of change, doing our best to create the next generation of environmentally conscious individuals in Kenya and across Africa. From growing hundreds of thousands of fruit tree seedlings in schools and with farmers, helping children and young people to love nature, grow their food, clean their air, and create their own green spaces in, in schools across Kenya, to fostering environmental literacy in over 20,000 school-going children. Our actions demonstrate that environmental education is a tool and a resource that young people are using in the fight against the triple planetary crisis we are discussing here today. However, the challenges we face are immense. The global climate, nature, and pollution crisis are seriously affecting the earth's processes and ecosystems. And this means that it's also backtracking the very efforts that young people are making to address these same challenges. Will this year's World Environmental Education Congress be the place where we shift from acknowledgement to action and from plans into reality? And will it be the place where we collaborate and transform innovative ideas into tangible, scalable solutions, fostering sustainability at every level, we can embrace innovative strategies like those we have implemented in our communities, transforming idle lands into vibrant green spaces, harnessing renewable energy to power our learning institutions, greening all aspects of our schools and institutions, and even advocating for policies and curriculums that prioritize sustainability. These are not just ideas. They are real, scalable solutions that have the power to create a ripple effect across the globe. And in closing, let me echo the words of the late Nobel laureate, Professor Wangare Mathai. Education, if it means anything, should not take people away from the land but instill in them even more respect for it because educated people are in a position to understand what is being lost. So I ask you to join me in this movement today. Together, we can turn the tide of the climate 
nature and pollution crisis. Let's nurture a world where nature and humanity thrive, where our children breathe clean air and drink pure water, and where all can access food and clean energy in a just and equitable world. Let us forge partnerships and that transcend borders and share knowledge that empowers, and most importantly, take collective action that echoes beyond these halls. Here in Abu Dhabi, at the World Environmental Education Congress 2024, let's connect, let's create, and let's commit to a sustainable tomorrow. Thank you.